Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Chris Corline. This is Stellaris in our ridiculous patchwork galaxy. You may notice I have a lot more on it because I traded maps with some dude for the lols. I am joined as ever uh, from uh, Mr. Bastard from the Savanti League. Um, uh, Hello. Yeah, that's. I, that's... D I really don't know why I said that in such a ridiculous way. Yeah. Um, the sorry. flashy orange things you can see right now are the. Uh, um, species collection thing, alien specimen procurement uh, remaining bleepy bleeps, so I'm hoping to maybe get that done this game um, apart from that, I'm ready to go uh, I'm, I'm good to go, good to go let's go with the gooding um, yeah, one thing that's quite interesting uh, with this, uh, King of Yonderin. Oh, I haven't voted. Uh, yeah, sure, associates, that's fine. Um, I made a deal with the Taikan not so long ago that they could uh, start migrating into my territory and vice versa. And, um, well, did. they'll be doing it, yeah. which is nice. Ooh, you just got your secessionists back. Oh, hooray! A nation once more. How, how did you do that? How did you manage that? Just timed out or timed timed in. Timed in? Yeah. I because, don't know what that is. Because you say you want to do it, and it happens, and then it just happens, and then it's just a timer. Oh, and okay. The timer has uh, occurred. And they wanted so. to. They wanted to go for it. Okay. Well, they didn't really have a choice. Um, I wonder if you need that frontier outpost in Greckle to get Greckle now. Uh, that's the thing know. I'm going you might to check do. in just know. a second. I just want to upgrade the living bejeebus. Wow. Yeah. My fleet limit has dropped like a rock. I'm now on... That's probably because the um, the secessionists had a fleet. Yeah, you're right. Let's let's get that clerped. Yep. So it's absorbed into yours. Oh my So it's not that your God. limit's dropped, it's that you, you've gone over your capacity or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am way off my capacity, weirdly. I am... Um... I actually need to build some stuff. Uh, Greckle is now mine, but you are right. I would like to get rid of this thing because it's costing me influence. Although you might lose Greckle if you do it, so just, you know. There's nothing in Greckle mind, right I now. I can always build it again. I'm, I'm mineral rich. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. I did. I suspect these, these two components will, will magnetically connect to each other anyway. They will over time, yeah. So Yeah, they will. I'd rather not spend the money on the extra influence. I really want that Bellatrix thing. I think I might go to. I think I might consider war with the United Bucky autocracy. Just uh, mm. take that okay. thing. You sure you can't vassalize them? Um. Well, I think we had a bit of an argument about this last time, and you shouted at me and called me some very awful names. Um, I'm not sure that's accurate. Well, we're living in a world where accuracy isn't so important anymore, so I suspect <laughs> it's uh, it's out uh, accuracy. Yeah. Um, yes. I think I would need to spend an awful lot of money to vassalize them. United Bucky Autocracy. God, I know so many people. Uh, let me... Have I got any more stuff to build? I'm not sure I do. Again, oh, wow. difficult to tell because of my... Flag color. Uh, yeah. No, their acceptance is only is minus forty two. Empire population mm. is minus eight. I don't think I'm going to make that happen. To be honest, I need I need something weird to fire for that to become a reasonable course of action. Oh my God! Look at mm. all these science ships. Right, where was I going there? That. Uh didn't let me I was sending a science ship to get one of my specimens but I uh, for some reason yeah hit, hit some nasty aliens the Traxy Foundation joined the Condine Entente okay. oh, wow that's a new one is it yeah I think so is there a, a map filter for AI attitude map mode, diplomatic map mode. So that there isn't a map mode for for federations. That seems odd. 
to say the least. So what I need to do is just move all this new junk I've acquired back into normal space and just just blow it up. So there's no science <laughs> guy here. Let's us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governor. We have no spare scientists. Can I just disband mm. this? The Tycans want into the Glorious League. Like in, in, in or just the, in? In, 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 in. What are the Tycans? Problem with this, uh, they are xenophile materialists. They sound like our kind of people. The, the, the only... They, they are, and I have got that, that migration thing with them. The only issue is... Um, they're also right next to you. The only issue is that would mean that our, our monopoly vote uh, against the AI within the Federation would be removed. Because we're two to one at the moment. But we can trust the AI. Can't you we? reckon? I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, I'm already having them migrate in. So having them closer is no bad thing. Shall we go for it? I think we should go for it, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay, let's go for it. I, I, for I just want to see what kind of problems we can get into, because right now everything's going to go very smooth for the rest of, <laughs> of the game, and I'm interested to not so much stir the pot, but at least... Um... Fair enough. Well, that um, it's out there, so... So you have got a long way to come home. Uh, you've got a vote on it, by the way, I think. Okay. Yeah. Frubal have a down for it, so. Uh oh, uh, who died? We found the Chinor Stellar Union, who are individualist materialists, just like me. Um, so they should like us quite a lot. Oh, whoa, would you stop a moment, please? Right, okay, I need to hire a new scientist, first problem. Okay, so this is an interesting thing. Um, the Mechanas have ended their association status with us. Presumably they don't like the Tycans, maybe? Maybe. I don't think that's a problem, though. They're, they're only small. Um, and... Uh, I just got the same message twice. Fine. Okay. The Tycans have declared the Natraxi their rivals, which is fine, because the Natraxi are our rivals. Sounds good. That's nice. The Natraxi Foundation are getting bigger and bigger, though. It's fine. We, if you look at the amount of space of the signatory species, we have more than Yes, them. that's true. We have significantly more than them. We've got about, God, maybe one-eighth of the galaxy, actually. Um, so that's pretty good news. Um, okay, I've got a destroyer assembly yards in there now. So I need to... What is my strike force made up of? If I go for about 12 corvettes per... Destroyer, um, then that would currently be. I've got four destroyers, so that's what 48. So I could do with another destroyer and 10 corvettes. Kingdom wow. of Yonderim are made a protectorate out of the United Yapathi Empire, who are pretty small, I think. I think they're actually an uplifted people or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what did I decide on just then? God, my naval capacity is going up and up and up. Um, one destroyer, another destroyer, and ten corvettes. There we go. Galactic benevolence, a 2K technology. Our people are united and strong, and their rulers benevolent. Sometimes the populace needs to be reminded of this fact. Creates building the Ministry of Benevolence. Ethics divergence that minus sound... 15%. That does not sound sinister at all. No, it certainly doesn't. In order to provide the best living conditions for our citizens and to offer them security, they are uh, the security they're entitled to, we will have centralized branches of the state bureaucracy concerned with their well-being. Air quotes added by myself. Yeah. So I am going to switch up to an Irenic Protectorate. Um, 
where the sa a safety committee oversees the administration of the state and violent tendencies among citizens are curbed at an early stage. Um, just because it gives me fucking loads of core systems and I don't really like splitting stuff into sectors. So, um, yeah, I like that idea. Uh, and I'm also nearly about to hit my, my limit at the moment. So I'm going to reform to an Irenic protectorate with 50-year elections. <laughs> uh, yeah. What? So really. Science ship. Now leaderless science ship because all my scientists have died. Um, wow, you have to go a long way. Well, if you're going that way anyway, why don't I just teleport my dudes to you? Uh, right, so I need another new scientist. Or I need to re-petition a scientist. Um, you. I want to reassign you. Cool. I want to grab that science ship that's on the long march. What the gob happened? Okay. Um, that didn't go according to plan at all. I think I disbanded the guy instead of moving him. How very foolish. Yeah, super foolish. Oh well. Right. Physics research, or... What's that? Yeah, so rocketry guy should really go and work in rocketry land, and we need to recruit another guy who's good at stuff. Oh wow, this guy's got a bonus overall industry research speed. Yeah. Well, physics is kind of like industry. Yes. I'm going to agree with this. Construction um, ship, where did you end up? Even though I don't. Construction ship there, construction I'm, ship there. Science I'm not far off getting um, hyperlane mapping, which means I can see hyperlanes. Even though I don't use them. Just oh, wow, handy. I've got the uh, Imperial fleet. Um, yeah, yeah, you're, you've got, um, yeah, you're the Federation president. I should moment, probably so. move them somewhere useful, but they'll cost me money if I do that. We should also build them. It's 10 out of 52. We need to build more. Um... I might get working on that once I've up my own fleet. Because priorities. Oh wow, I've I've got twenty nine influence. I can't afford to put an admiral in charge there. Um, right, okay. Before all this kicked off, I had a question regarding my own strike force, which is um, thirteen. Three destroyers, four destroyers to thirteen ships. That's probably not a good balance, if I'm honest. That's really well. I I do. I'm not sure if this is optimized, but I do twelve corvettes to a destroyer. Well, I tell you what. I think if um, anything, I should do more. I'm just going to build if a anything, yeah. font ton of corvettes. Yeah, make sure they're actually you upgraded to your highest tech as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like do some ship design if if needed. I did, I did that last time. We're good. If not, they're going to be useless. So. Okay. Okay, that's on its way. Oh, well. Lots of construction is complete. Nothing is happening. What well, what are my planets doing? You, I wanted to build a um, I wanted you to build a spaceport. Good. How's my surface gentleman coming? Okay, there we go. Build. We got physics lab, don't we? Oh no, it's an upgrade. Group, group. Um, yeah, you go ahead and put a uh, hydroponics farm down. I've got some very dramatic music going on here. 
Xeno Zoo requires alien pets on tile. Okay. Yeah, they're a specific, like, little weird mini resource. So. Oh, my poor back. Right. Well, I can't build a visitor center anymore, so I can just put a droid on it, I suppose, but it doesn't really do much. Minerals plus 15%. robot worker there. Oh, I haven't got enough influence to colonize that planet. Yeah, my huh. influence is trash. Another guy is dead. That's bad. It is bad. Thank you for... <laughs> no, it means I've got a colony ship sat there absorbing money now, but never mind. Another leader dead. I am losing scientists. I basically have zero scientists at level 3 or better. Well, that's shit. Yes. Uh, where's my colony planner? Expansion planner there. And I can't afford to recruit anymore. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Um, <laughs> right, well. I suppose the sensible thing to do would be to move the guy who's commanding back to... Yeah. Huh, okay. Well, that'll do then. We're not missing construction there. Oh, we are kind of, actually. Ooh! I'm about to sell somewhere that has alien pets. Nice. Oddly enough. If you can afford it. I can. It's within my space. I didn't realise there was somewhere I could settle within my space. Because um, it's been bouncing back and forth between me and the Frugal for ages, but it seems uh. pretty firmly in my space now. Um, so. Sarah Yark. kills, yeah? That's the one. Good luck. Thank you. I'm not sure I need it. Just trying to be nice. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think all my construction's done now. Until I expand further out. Pretty much. Pretty much. So my main army is now 1.2k, which isn't bad. Interesting attack on Empire wants us to give an association status. I would like to vote yes. Oh, that's a good point. I, I didn't see that pop up. Ooh, I can build a galactic stock exchange. Wow, I could get um, a change so I can actually have other species as leaders. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to get it, though. I'm going to get a bigger leader pool because I need it. I need more. Oh, uh, I just lost a scientist as well. Um, who are the Natraxi friends with? Let Association me rival them. Yeah, that's fine. Surely you're already rivals with the Natraxans. I'm ri rivals with the Natraxans, but who are they friends with? And then I'm going to be mean to them. Oh, I see. I see. Atmospheric manipulations. Change the planet, the climate of planets while terraforming them. That sounds cool. I haven't had any terraforming techs. Ooh, I got a Galantha. I've got all my specimens. Good job. Excellent. Sign ship, what are you doing out there? Well, you might as well. So, Nutrax. How have I got all those goddamn planets surveyed? That's weird. Hi, adorable butterflies. I'm going to give you a mineral because I am a simple species. Plus, I can give you like 500 and it doesn't improve you any. Yeah, I should start that. looking at other people's arrival just for extra influence. So, I'm rivals with the Natraxi. Uh -huh. I'm rivals with the Thymoid. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm not rivals with the Thymoid. But the Frubalab are and they don't like us. This is the Condine Entente. They're in that as well, so I think I'll... I thought I had rivaled you. Oh, I have rivaled them. Why does it say I haven't? 
I'm about to do so, more yeah, the ones I've rivaled are the Traxi and the Thimoid. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't list me as one of their rivals, but I am. And then the United Yapathi, and they've closed their borders to me. And they're a protectorate of the Yonderim. Um, they're tiny. I might as well rival them. So, no? you, um, have I reached my rival limit? I know you can only rival a certain number. Um, Selami Star Hegemony. No, no, it, they must be just too small or they're a protectorate or something like that. That must be the reason for it. Um, where are the Selami? Selami Star Hegemony. I need to know where they are before I go and do something rash like rivaling them. I don't. Uh... Where are they, though? Doesn't make any goddamn difference, though. Are they just... Oh, they're those little wankers <laughs> but between me and the Frubalav. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll rival you. Then I'll you... rival you all the way to the bank. The invasion bank. I suppose you're pacifists. You can't, really. Yeah, I don't, I'm RPing as the pacifist, so I'm not going to go to war with anyone. So am I, apparently, because I'm scared of war. Um, right, assign leader, someone with three stars. Yes, I know you're commanding. Please live long enough to research this product. Product? Project. Product. Uh, have I built all the spaceships I was going to build? Well, not quite. Um, so that should now be... Five and sixty, yeah, okay. The reason why it's quiet today is I haven't switched the speed up off normal yet. Yeah. Which is the thing we should think Probably. I shall I'm leave building speed another control to you. Mini fleet. I can I can tag along if you go all crazy. That's fine, that's fine. What am I actually goddamn researching here? Construction complete. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yep, Sir Atlas is now mine. All mine. Sir Atlas. Um. For what it's worth. Yeah, I'm just focusing on building up my own fleet. Uh, it's on 4K at the moment. Which is quite nice. Uh, I'm going to build another wing, I guess you'd call it, of a destroyer and 12 corvettes. Um, and I'm going to send it into some pirates lurking nearby. Tasty. I can actually start dealing with some of the people who've been hanging around for a while now, really. Uh, 35. These pirate assholes. There's some pretty beefy pirates down there, actually. Do you want the Imperial Fleet to come and assist? Yeah, there's... Uh, not at the moment. I should be fine. The, the really big ones are in Oa Prinda, um, who are old guard, scarred veterans, and young blood that looks to have a total of, I don't know, getting towards 20k. Okay. Um, I think they're the... must be, like, the Leviathan equivalent of the pirates or something. Um, so they, they'll be a while. They will be a while. Um, that'll be a while for me. Ooh, habi habitability plus five percent. Yes, please. As a, just as a tech, that's nice. Oh God, Selmy Star Hegemony sent me something, and I literally just clicked off it. Well, fuck it. It was probably them declaring rivalry on me, to be honest. Yay! <clears throat> Being as I'd already done that. I wish the Frubalab would just take them. They're annoying hanging out there. They're inconveniencing me with their presence. None of these technologies are good. Um... Surely some of them are good, Chris. No. Surely some good can come Advanced of them. Advanced combat, extended combat algorithms will do me for now, I think. Sounds like he's got a point to it. Well, I don't know. I, I, I imagine it's fine. 
good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm just going to just upgrade some things. Like, minerals are not a problem right now. Yeah, I keep having to do a kind of pass of everything to make sure everything's upgraded. Which is no great chore. No. Physics lab. Colony established. There's a thing I could do. Not with my... Uh, unfortunately, not with my influence, which is still pants. God, the Tycan aren't half sending everyone to my worlds. Which is fine. I suppose I can live alongside the filthy other species. But, uh... Um, okay, so yeah. science, it's time to shuffle the scientists. Um, so you go back here. Science ship who is not busy. Ooh, the Bacad Forerunners. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is that fallen empire communicating with me. As you no doubt know, we Bacata are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We've so Oh, this is the thing that you had, didn't it, where they want to basically buy some of us? Yep, I'm going to let you read that out. I'm going to step away. To put in a reservation. So I'm going to step away for two seconds to use the loo. I'm going to let you read that to the good viewers. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I have finished, but yeah, that's fine. Bye. Bye. Uh, okay. Um, let me think about this. They will construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of my species. Its population will be well taken care of and protected from all harm. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to go with this. Because I'm an individualist, and I, that means I have the option to say our people are not for sale. Uh, it also uh, reduced my happiness by 10% for quite a long time, for 10 years. Because I've surrendered my population um, to these weird scientific space butterflies. Uh, no, our people are not for sale. That's that. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not down with that. Uh, I may live to regret this horribly. We will find out so in time. Basically, this will be one of the few uh, episodes I actually watch back so I can see what you told me. Why did you pause? Did something interesting happen? I was just reading that thing. Um, no, uh, I said no to the space bus flies. Really? Because oh, I no. am an individualist and I had a special option. What's the same? Um, our people are not for sale. <gasps> That's pretty cool. You do realise if you do donate it to them, you have your happiness reduced by 10% for t 10 years. Yeah, but that was like 400 years ago, so I'm grand with that. Uh, you disgust me. Yeah, well, you disgust me. Um. Construction complete. Okay, okay. How are we doing... For time, you know, I think I think we've got an episode's worth here, racked up. Uh, let me give me so. just I a second. So. How many spare slots do I have? I have one spare slot, and if I build an if I build an engineering bay, my ship upkeep goes down five percent, and everything else goes down a quarter, and it's cheap. Or I can do crew quarters to reduce ship upkeep by ten percent. That would certainly help in the jigglies. Let's do that. Ooh, jigglies. Quite. Right. Um, one last thing before we leave. I'm going to set my aging scientist onto... <laughs> to... Research the last... Humanitas? No, we're just... We're picking up the last of the... Uh, oh, Chris, you never want to do a mercy killing. Scary, fun animals. Uh-oh. Oh, and he died. Oh, for... <laughs> uh, okay, okay. It all worked out in the end. Scientist is present. Scientist has skill three or higher. I have no scientists of skill three or higher. I have two scientists. I cannot afford to recruit another scientist. I can only research one, two things at a time. What are you talking about? A scientist died. 
I now have a grand total right. of two, two scientists in my empire. I can't afford to backfill. Um, it still gets researched. Yeah, but it's slow and it's I think the research still runs. Anyway. Yep, well, well, that's your fault for not having enough influence. How can you not have that much influence? Getting, they don't cost like 50 or something. They do cost 50. One plus point two, point four two per month. And how much have you got in the bank? 40. That's not going to take that long then. You just need to get better influence, mate. Yeah, well, fuck you. But anyway, yeah, well, that'll do. All right. On uh, that, we'll on that next time, wonderful folks. note of happy friendship, um, I hope you all have a wonderful time, and uh, we'll catch up with you on the next semi-exciting episode of Stellaris. Bye. Quite. <laughs>